Hey, it's Joe Glides from the Automator, and today I want to show you a regex that I worked on to help me grab the unique ID from a YouTube video, which sounds simple, and, and it really seems like, like, hey, I could use a string parse on this because I always go in and copy it from here, and the beginning part is YouTube. It's just a thing after this, but let me show you an example here, but before I do, please like this video. It helped me a lot. Uh, also, you can get this regular expression I'm going to share with you, as well as examples of other ones in training on regular spreadsheets. because we're not really going to dive into the training of them, but just more about how helpful they are in this. So you can go to the regex uh, URL here above me to get that. So let's go ahead and jump into, first, let me show you what I noticed was I was having problems sometimes. I had a regular expression, uh, a very simple one. I was string splitting it and I was just grabbing it. But what turns out was often it wouldn't grab the unique identifier and it come up blank. And I use it in my newsletter, so I don't have to go and always get the uh, the thumbnail for it so I could highlight the URL. And I put together this file to give you an idea of the different types of formats, right? I have, I think, 48 different types of formats here of how that URL might be built. And this is why imagine trying to program around and say, well, when it begins with this, or when it begins with this, or it has a equals V, or it equals VI, or, you know, there's the ampersand. Well, sometimes it's not an ampersand at the end. Like, programmatically, this would really suck to try to write a stir split to identify. So let's get into the code here, and I'll show you. I mean, it, it looks, quote unquote, sort of simple, right? There's patterns. So here's the first one. And this basically says look for, now I'm escaping the backslash here, so look for a backslash or a percent 3D, which is actually an equal sign. I looked that up, I'm like, okay. And then, or a VI equals or a V equals, right? So these all go into the first pattern, which is here, right? This one is the first pattern. The second one is, now on here in this example, if I would go to this URL here, you'll see the coding that you can use with this regular expression engine to spot the differences. Um, but I converted it to a named pattern. So that's this one here is this P it says, give it a name. I'm going to give it a name of ID. I and mean, that's, so it takes this YouTube underscore and then slaps on when you slap on the underscore ID, it'll take YouTube underscore and then put this at the back. Since there's only one of these that I'm grabbing, uh, that'll be only one. I could have said, take the second one, cause this is the second thing, but I like having them named. It just helps me think about what I'm doing. So it says, Hey, look for anything that's between a zero and nine or a capital A to a lowercase Z. So this is all the characters. We could have used some other regular expression ways to say like, um, a backslash, uh, W uppercase W yeah, lowercase W, I think would have been any character. Anyway, uh, it does that a dash or an underscore. So any of those, uh, and look for 11 of them in a row. And so take those 11, cause apparently with YouTube, it's always an 11 character unique ID. And then look for stuff here, any of these characters at the end. Now the dollar sign, I think is the end of the line, if I remember right. So I'm not sure if that's needed because you're probably doing one line at a time, right? But if you're not, you might want to play with that. So let's go to this URL and we can take a quick look at uh, what it looks like. So uh, now here it's almost identical, except for here I don't have the name pattern because this is not auto hotkey, you know, regex. This is just the standard. I think it's the Perl regex engine, but here you can see the, the, the color highlighting that's happening, right? So, um, and when you click on one, so this URL will load this for you with this pattern. Uh, but when you click on them, you'll see down here, here's the match and group one, group two, right? If where they were matched. So you get an idea. However, I have another script, but you can use this and this, I like using tools like this because it helps, it makes it a lot easier to develop your regular expression uh, and to test them and just spot that they're working. But what I did, if we come back over here, uh, I'm gonna go to a different one, is uh, just looping over my YouTube. So I have the file that I showed you earlier, and that is the uh, this file here. I open it, I read it, I store it in the URLs, and then I do a for loop and I'm looping over, I'm using stir split to basically parse it line by line. Right. So this way I get one and each one of these, actually, you'll see it here. Cause you see, I use this YouTube video ID function, which I put in my library, right? So I don't have to use an include it's here in the script just so you can see it, but I put it in my library. So then I can just reference it and it's going to, each time row is going to be that new row with that new long string in it. Um, and then I put it again the second time. So the first part is going to be what did it grab out of the row? The second part is going to be the actual content of the row followed by a new line character just so it breaks it out. Uh, and so it's going to iterate over that. This is notice it's 
dot equals, which means it's going to append it to this text variable over and over and over. And then once it's done, it's going to display all that in this output window. So I'm going to launch my script. Now, when I hit my hotkey, so it just went across all of those. And notice it grabbed, because what I did was I tested them all with my main uh, video, intro to auto hotkey video. And it's the same file, right? You can see, because I'm reading it from the file that we looked at. But you can see here is the text on the right, and this is what it grabbed on the left. So on each one of these, it was successfully grabbed what it needed to grab. And this will allow me then, of course, I will put it in. I can use it in multiple ways. One is I could uh, put it for the link, you know, attached like the, what is it, like HTTPS colon slash YouTube dot com slash, you know, uh, play or, you know, V equals in the ID. Uh, or I can also use it, and this is what I use it in my newsletter for, is to take that URL or take that ID and go pull the thumbnail and put the thumbnail and wrap it with HTML. So when I'm writing my newsletter, I don't have to go do all that from, from scratch. Like that would be a pain and I would screw up a lot. So it just helps me with that. So I thought uh, you might like that. Like I said, if you go to the, uh, let's go ahead and go to the automator real quick here just to, um, actually, we'll just, since I know it, it's regx. And this page is uh, where we, we stop, we start learning regular expressions. And we did a webinar on it, I believe. Uh, and Jack Dunning has a really good book on it. I, I, I worked through it, it was really helpful. And um, these are just different things you can do with them. It's not everything, because it's a crazy powerful engine. Um, and what I'll do, which I haven't done yet, but I will add the YouTube ID one down here, beneath here after I finish this video. Uh, linking to it on a separate page, I guess, but you'll have it uh, there. You can grab it. But these are other examples where I've done, you know, finding uh, an email address, just extracting the email address, or uh, playing with name conventions and cleaning up HTML. And just there's th uh, amazing things. Well, I'll probably try to remember to add. I have one for phone numbers. Um, this is that's for a, an address, but I have one for phone numbers as well, which I use. So I'll try to put that in here as well. But regular expressions are really, really amazing. Uh, I highly recommend if you're not using them, start with them. Now, at first, they can be a beating. There's kind of like a Sudoku, right? They can they can be super easy and then sometimes really hard. And more importantly, the more you do it, the easier it gets. But when you haven't touched it for a while, you beat your head against a wall a little bit because it can, you can be missing something simple. And that's where going to, I actually mainly use um, this hi uh, regex 101 this is the one my default one that i use a lot because it's very similar to the auto hockey reg regular expression engine and uh you can you can put in your information you put your text down here and the regex pattern up here and start working with it and then you can copy this and paste it into your auto hockey code so i hope that helps if uh if you're interested you know do you think i should create like a udemy course on regular expressions uh it's there's a lot of Udemy courses on regular expressions, but of course this one will be tied specifically to auto hotkey. So if you think that'd be something you'd be interested in, let me know, but it, you know, it's a lot of work and I, I think there's enough regular expression stuff out there that it's just not worth me doing, but I hope that helps you enjoyed it. Cheers.